guys, from Super Saiyan here, back again, this time with a brand new game called Clash Royale. Now, this game isn't necessarily globally released yet. It is soft launch currently, as of right now, in select countries. Uh, so I did have to download a Canadian account, or make a Canadian account, and download the game from their app store, uh, and then switch back to my US account. But it was all worth it because this game is phenomenal. Now, Ben Tim One, you guys may know him from his uh, Boom Beach slash Clash Royale channel now. Um, he introduced me to this game, and he's like, dude, just try it out. It's pretty cool. And I was like, all right, I'll give it a whirl. I wasn't always really big on Clash of Clans or Boom Beach. I did play a lot of Clash of Clans when it first came out, but it kind of kind of died off on me uh, after the first couple months after I started taking like three, four days just to upgrade my buildings. Um, but yeah, so this game kind of more is in line of what I'm uh, used to. I like MOBAs or just tactical games in general, and this game kind of suits that type of play style. Uh, with throwing in a few bits of uh, the whole pay model of Supercell, uh, obviously. So there is the whole aspect of buying gems to further advance your gameplay if you want to, but you can play without spending a single dime and earn everything that everybody else gets. It's just slower. Uh, but if you fully really want to enjoy the game at a fast-paced manner, uh, gems is definitely the way to go. And if you're enjoying the game, then a lot of times you can justify uh, a few dollars here and there a month if you know you're really enjoying the game uh, which what i'll probably be doing here i already spent like 20 bucks uh to kind of get myself uh some cards uh give a little bit of extra leverage uh in the arena and boy did i need it because god uh sometimes these matches are really hard especially when you're a noob like me uh but anyways let's go ahead and go into my deck and find out what i'm building here uh in the match so what i have is basically a goblin deck i've been kind of messing around with it just because i thought the idea was interesting having a deck revolved around goblins uh i don't know how efficient it can be in the high arenas but right now it's just more so around the concept of having you know a fun time with the deck uh and that's what it's important to me right it's having fun uh so right now i was i was using the witch for a while which is really strong uh, but I've been told the Prince is by far one of the stronger cards, uh, and so I've been running it and seeing how it goes. It's pretty good, uh, but you just gotta know how to use it appropriately, I think, um, and definitely not just run your Giant with nothing behind it. Generally, I run the Giant with the Prince behind it if I can, uh, or just something that does damage behind it. Uh, maybe a Goblin Hut or something, I don't know. Uh, but let's go ahead and just get into a match here to show you how this deck works. Um, but yeah, so... Here we go. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, it's Tim. <laughs> it's not Ben Tim. My name's Tim. That's coincidental. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and just throw this bad boy out. We get our goblin hut going already. I'm gonna throw this out. All right. Yeah, take that damage. All right, already pretty good. <laughs> I must admit, that's already pretty freaking good. We're gonna throw the barrel over there, do some damage with that. All right. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Let's just go ahead and throw ours out. You can play that game. Bam. Alright, we're definitely going to want to follow up with something here. There we go. Throw some archers out there too. Ooh, we got a P.E.K.K.A. A mini P.E.K.K.A. out. Alright, we're going to respond with a... A giant. Yay. <laughs> I just want him to absorb damage so my turret can take these guys out. Alright, here we go. Sweet. We're gonna go ahead and throw down another goblin hut here pretty soon too, I think. Ooh, that was a nice placement of the Valkyrie though. Taking out all my... Um, troops there. There we go. Do that damage. Uh, we're actually gonna go ahead and throw this in because I don't want... 
Well, never mind. Well, this sucks. <laughs> We're just gonna run this bad boy. Bam. Man, he's he's fighting for dear life just to stay up. We're just gonna throw that barrel in though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah! There it is. <laughs> End it! He's doing too good. Well played. Alright, so as you can tell, I'm still a little bit fresh when it comes to responding to certain maneuvers. Um, I'm not the best player. Practice makes perfect. I'm fairly new. I have been playing for two days. So, I don't say that was too bad. Well, I don't know. We'll have to see what we can do uh, this next match here. Let's go into another one here. My favorite so far is definitely the mass production build, uh, or deck, as you would call it. Um, but we'll definitely have to see what we can do here in this match. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, okay. He has a mini P.E.K.K.A. I wanted to let my prince survive, so... Ooh! Bam! Nah, uh, he's not gonna survive enough to get there. Dang. Alright, good response, good response. I see what you did there. Alright, um... Oh, God. Shoot. Yeah. And down you go, bro. Ouch. Alright. He did a lot more damage than me. Go! Do your thing! Alright, dude, man, this is rough. I need to get that Goblin Hut out quick. Zenine! Oh god, he hit it. Damn it! <laughs> Damn you! Okay, we got this. <laughs> There's a go. Damn it. Okay. Now we can start doing this. No! Dude, this guy's good, man. Well, I suck, apparently. <laughs> Because I thought the guy's like amazingly good. It's just, I think I'm sucking right now. We gotta get that turret though. If we can get that, then we have a chance here. Oh no, I missed up my arrows. No, I don't think so, boys and girls. It ain't gonna happen. Damn, okay, well, that sucked. Whew. Definitely gonna need some refinement on this deck, though, man. I feel like I'm, like, really, really lacking in aggression. Like, I could not pummel through. I really want the Witch, though. I think, I think throwing in the Witch can definitely do some justice here. Um, possibly throwing away the Goblin Hut for now. I just, did, I cannot get myself to use it uh, fast enough. So let's try the witch, see how that goes. Uh, we'll go ahead and do one more match here and see if we can come out a victor. Alright, so we got the witch now. Already in our pockets. We'll go ahead and throw her down. So we can get this bad boy right there. Alright, we got that guy.
definitely want to stop him at all costs. There. Ah, oh God, he got to the base though. No, dude, this guy's so aggressive. Get off me, bro. No one likes you. Yeah, dude. What do you take one down? Work your way. There it is. Oh, damn. Okay. Go. Our turn. Hell yeah. Let's do this, boys. Let's do this. Get it, get it, get it. Yes! Thank you. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and... Wait for something here. I'm, I'm waiting to see how he's gonna respond. Alright, alright. Let's go ahead and... Respond appropriately here. Throw the witch down. We do not want him getting near. Oof, okay, good. That's really good. We're just gonna freaking destroy this main building here. We're gonna pummel the hell out of it. Okay, we're ending this now. <laughs> we're ending it. It's done. <laughs> All right. So we got a silver chest by that. Well played. Thumbs up, bro. All right, so let's go ahead and end it there. Review. I shall review later. All right, so there we go. Uh, definitely got to wait for these chests. I don't know what's the most efficient way of using gems right now. You can go ahead and go to the shop and buy them outright. Obviously, I think that you would want to earn them and then unlock them with gems. I think that's more efficient because I got one of these uh, magical chests and it only cost me like, I don't remember the exact amount, but I think it was like 78 gems to open instead of 470 to buy and then open. Excuse me. So I think that's definitely more efficient. It's just you never know when you're going to get one. Um, but yeah, so that is Clash Royale. Pretty fun. Actually, very challenging too. There's lots of strategy involved, which is what I like in a game. Um, I definitely feel like this game has huge promise. And I definitely feel like I will be doing a lot of this on my channel. Um, pretty much, I'm thinking this channel will become a Clash of Royale channel at this point. Just because I know that this game is going to be taking up a lot of my time. And therefore, I might as well record it and show you guys what what deck I'm running, uh, what's currently meta, maybe, when I get more versed with the game and find out what's the best builds, uh, and, you know, other series that might arise, um, maybe, like, troll decks, or, um, I don't know, um, I don't, I, I don't really know what we can make right now, we'll figure it out as we go, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed my first video, Clash Royale, Again, I'll be doing a lot of these. I don't know how often I'll upload. I'm trying to go daily. Obviously, that's the goal, uh, but we'll have to see. Um, I did sit back and record a good uh, cushion of these, so we should be good for the next week or so uh, for daily uploads. But we definitely want to make sure that this is something we can continue, uh, especially since you guys who are subscribing for it uh, deserve daily videos. So we'll try our hardest to do that for you guys. But thanks for showing up, watching, Clash Royale, and uh, enjoying some, a few matches with me, and I'll see you guys next time. Later!